Day seven on the pilgrimage and Lazarus is getting her first joyride on the big truck. She spent the night on the mountain. I'm sure it was very cold. I think she hates me right now. But everything's cool. She'll get a ride home, everything will be fine. Right? Right. In May 2016, I made a decision to quit my job and hit the road for two and a half months. In total, I did 6,700 miles. I was gone for 70 days. This was my pilgrimage. After about, what has it been, 30 hours or something like that? 30 hours of uh, dealing with bike troubles, having the bike towed off of the side of a mountain, then uh, having to put two and three quarters worth of oil back into my thing, because evidently she ate it. Charging the battery again, because I ran dead trying to get started on the mountain. After all of that, at approximately three o'clock, what is it, yep, three o'clock, the next day, Lazarus is running again. Yay! Yeah. Emily, I was meant to spend a bit more time in Lewistown than I had planned. Everything is beautiful now, the bike is running. Oh my God, I can't believe that she ate that much oil. That was crazy. Yay! It is officially day eight of the pilgrimage. One day off the road. Lazarus and Steppa running again. Thanks so much to Martin at Hanser's Towing in Lewistown for so much help. It's just incredible the people that you meet when, you get, when you're in trouble. Martin pulled me off of a mountain. Didn't charge me nearly as much as like anybody else would have to have gone off-roading all the way to the top of the mountain to get my bike back. Let me camp at, at the shop because I didn't have any place to stay. He also gave me this sick Sea to Summit dry duffel bag. If you don't remember the dry duffel bag that I had before, ripped when I was down in Motos in Moab, so I had to abandon it and I've been using a tarp to wrap up my extra blanket with. And it looks really good with my Wolfman bags, don't you think? Yesterday morning, after we got the bike down off the mountain, I spent a good four hours working on the bike uh, before we realized it was my oil. So she was pretty damn low, so I don't blame her for not starting on top of a mountain. We got the bike running around uh, four or five in the afternoon, and that's when I realized that I lost my motorcycle pants. So Martin drove me all over town, tried to find the guy who picked me up off the mountain, found him, realized I left MotoCow in that guy's car, so I got MotoCow back, but my pants weren't there. Very, very reluctantly, I went back up the mountain with Lazarus to find my pants, and the mountain tried to eat them. The wind uh, picked it up and threw it over the side of the edge of the road. It was 50 feet down the side of the mountain and I climbed down and got my pants and climbed back up and came down on the mountain and I, I cannot express to you how happy I am to not have to go up that mountain ever again. I'm pretty sure Judith Mountain is cursed. I'm just gonna put that out there. I don't care if you don't agree with me. It's cursed. I do hope that I get to see Martin and Koi again because they were amazing to me and I have new friends in Lewistown. So after I came back, I kind of realized at that point it was like 6.30 and I was like, Martin, will you let me stay again? Because I don't think I'm going to get anywhere because most of the time I have to put the tent up by 7.30 if I'm going to make camp. He's like, oh yeah, you can stay here. Martin got a call last night to clean up slash pick up a dump truck grain truck that had tipped over. I went on a call with him and helped out with that and I held stuff and Martin did all the work. <laughs> and we were there really late, like we got there at nine. We didn't leave the site until like 11 and come back to the shop and unloaded it and by the time we were all done it was like 12.30. Appreciate your tow truck drivers. That's, you know, it's an important thing. Well, can I say this? You have a little more respect for tow truck drivers? <laughs> Only like a sliver, you know. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully today I'll get to Zortman. Cross fingers. Cross fingers that Lewistown will let me leave now. <laughs> So I left Lewistown on day eight, fairly reluctantly. Soldiered on to Zortman, Montana, 
which is supposed to be a ghost town on my map. I went up and found a campground and put up my tent. So I went back into town to draw the two buildings that were kind of falling apart, but they still looked kind of neat. I think I sat there and was drawing for like 20 minutes before people started driving by and being like, are you broke down? Like, what are you doing? This guy named Darren came over to see what I was doing and then drag me back to the bar to introduce me to everybody else who was watching me from the bar trying to figure out what I was doing. So I got like the small town tour where you meet just about everybody and 